are confused about vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms. Maybe you're wondering which symptoms are important, which ones are not, which one should I really be paying attention to as an indicator of whether or not I'm still deficient in B12. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, we're going to look at the important vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms. We'll go into what those are kind of telling us about the body and the level of deficiency that might be present when you have vitamin B12 deficiency. Again, my name is Dr. Taranell, and if you're new to this channel, just want you to know that I'm making these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom diagnosis, or questions like this one. I make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your health and how to optimize things. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health, hormones, etc., click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information contained in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as treatment for any medical condition or a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical professional. It should be used as an educational guide to deepen your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's look at the important vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms. So there's lots of vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms. What we want to cover and look at in this one are the important vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms, like the most important, the most alarming things to look out for in the symptom profile when we think there's B12 deficiency or when we know there's B12 deficiency. So the most important vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms are those that indicate a more severe deficiency. For example, those could be neurological symptoms such as numbness and tingling in the feet. Maybe you have a bit of problem with balance, feeling like you're going to run into a wall or run into things from time to time, or coordination, et cetera. Muscle weakness, memory problems, confusion, and mood disturbances could all be kind of tied in. But these neurological symptoms are an indicator of more severe deficiency. And if they're not taken care of in an appropriate amount of time, can lead to more permanent issue with the nerves. Another concerning vitamin B12 deficiency symptom, or in this case, it's actually a sign, would be macrocytic anemia, when your body actually starts to reduce the amount of red blood cells that it's making because there's not enough B12 around. This type of anemia is when the red blood cells are going to be larger in size, but there's not going to be a lot of them around. So this is an indicator of a more persistent B12 deficiency because the body has already started to down-regulate some of the normal functioning of the red blood cells in order to preserve some of that B12 for other functions. Usually when that's going on, there will be some neurological manifestations as well. They could just be mild at this point, but the longer this goes on for, the more severe those symptoms start to become, which leads to the second point about the more important vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms is just more so the severity of them. So you don't develop numbness and tingling in your feet and hands on day one when you're B12 deficient. Usually that happens over many, many months and even years of gradually going lower and lower on your vitamin B12 stat. You have to build up the methylmonic acid in those nerve sheets. They start to damage the nerves, and that's what ends up causing damage to those nerves and causing all these neurological symptoms. So the important B12 deficiency symptoms, the way I see it is neurological in nature, the severity of them, meaning is it just like one toe or the whole foot, the whole leg, numbness and tingling? Are you having that problem with balance and coordination? Is there signs in your red blood cells? And then how long have those symptoms actually been? Contrast that with someone that just might be a little bit tired or fatigued, well, yeah, that's concerning too, but not as concerning because the longer the B12 deficiency goes on in someone that's really deficient and having neurological symptoms more concerning because it's reflecting a lower vitamin B12 level as a whole, and you want to act faster and more aggressively, but also can lead to more permanent changes in that neurological system if it's not addressed. So those are some of the important vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms that I see. How did I do? Did that help you better understand the important vitamin B12 deficiency symptoms? 
Hopefully it did. If you do have questions or follow-up things on this video, drop it in the comment section. I'm happy to answer your question. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.